This is Fox 5 News Morning. Now to the missing Ohio State University football player who was found dead in a dumpster over the weekend not far from his apartment. Police say he died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Costa George had been missing since Wednesday when he texted his parents about his concussions. And that's led to some unanswered questions. So we're joined right now by William, Dr. William Garmo, neuropsychologist at MedStar National Rehabilitation Center. Good to see you this morning. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Uh, talk first of all about neuropsychology and how you can work with uh, people who have suffered from concussions. Sure. Neuropsychology is a specialty branch of psychology which looks at how the brain works and the way injuries or insults to the brain affect behavior and thinking and cognition and the like. In the way neuropsychology would work in the case of concussions, for example, such as at uh, the MedStar concussion program, is if a either an athlete or an adult, let's say in their casual weekend activity, suffers a concussion, we would do an initial evaluation with them and then we would just help them work through a common sense plan to manage the effects of the injury because the, the overwhelming majority of concussions actually heal quite well mm -hmm. and don't leave lasting effects and it's it just takes common sense management during the time the symptoms are active and then the person recovers quite well so what we spend a lot of our time with are those individuals who don't get well quickly or who've had multiple injuries where there may be cumulative effects and it sounds like that may have been the case with this football player in Ohio to the point where he recognized enough of the results that he texted his parents. And the last text that he sent to his parents, he said, I'm sorry if I'm an embarrassment to you for my actions. But then he went on to say, these concussions have my head all, and he used an expletive, all messed up, essentially. So it seems like he knew that he had suffered some lasting effects of concussions from being an athlete over those years. And I, I don't want to comment too much on that case sure. because it's so new that, that there's not a lot we don't know Is about Is that it. common, though, that people will recognize that they're still suffering symptoms from this? Sure. It, it, one of the things that's important to know about concussion is people are living in fear of them right now as though there's something that's hidden that's going to explode in their brain and one day they're just going to wake up suicidal or, or things like that. That is rarely the case. The majority of somebody is suffering lasting symptoms from concussion. They're going to recognize it. The other thing that's also important to keep in mind is concussion always occurs within a larger context of an individual's life and their health. So, for example, many of the symptoms of concussion overlap with other types of health conditions, such as depression and anxiety. And, of course, we, we do know that if somebody's having repeat concussions and their symptoms aren't going away, that they can develop depression and anxiety. So, you're, you're, if you've had a single concussion, you've recovered well, you don't have to live in fear of something going off in your brain one day and you becoming suicidal or homicidal or anything like that. As I mentioned, the majority of injuries heal quite well right. if they're managed well. It, it's the lasting ones that we have to be more concerned right. about. Right, and I'm sure there's a lot of parents that are saying, you know, and, and while there have been you know, great steps that have been taken in sports of all levels and all age groups to try to prevent these, uh, injuries still happen. And whether it's on the soccer field or the football field, I'm sure there's a lot of parents that are saying, you know, look, my kid had a concussion should I be worried now that maybe something will come back in the future that maybe they're not showing those signs now? Sure, and, and that's a great question. The answer to that in almost all cases is no. If the person had a single uncomplicated concussion and it was managed well and they recovered well, the likelihood that in the future you're going to have major problems come back is, is very low. It's when the concussion wasn't recognized or when you've had a second or a third. It's well managed and, and a, uh, a child or adult doesn't return to play before they're healed mm -hmm. and they follow you know, good common sense management from a concussion program or a good pediatrician or a trainer, they're going to most likely be okay. That's the key. I appreciate it. Dr. Garmel, thanks for joining us this morning. You're welcome. All right. It's uh, right now time.